Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel and today I'm gonna share a quick quick review of the Shake Shack Philippines Manila. Well, um, if you want to know what my thoughts are about Shake Shack, please keep on watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Also click that notification bell so you'll get updated whenever I have a new vlog up. Okay? Shake Shack Burger for the first time here at BGC. Two hours later. So first of all, sorry if I look haggard. I just arrived home just a minute ago. I came from BGC where I tried Shake Shack, and I have a clip like I've shown earlier um, the food that we ordered. So we ordered the Shake. We have a copy of their menu. I took a picture of it and I'm gonna put it here as well. So we ordered, oh, okay, I was with my student earlier and we wanted to try it because although there is Shake Shack in Korea, there are a few branches, there are only a few branches and there's also a very long line of people there. So here, what we ordered was the Shake Stack. So as you can see there, it is 545 pesos it has no drink yet and it has no fries or anything but the shake stack has a cheeseburger i think it has three layers of cheese if i remember it correctly and it also has the meat patty the the normal meat patty and the shroom burger which is mushroom yes okay and then i ordered the shack burger cheeseburger with lettuce tomato and shack sauce i just ordered the single patty which is 250 pesos i also ordered the cheese fries which is 180 pesos plus we also ordered coke the regular size coke each so i was thinking of ordering the milkshake but we were planning on going to a coffee shop after so we um we opted ordering coke Okay, so my thoughts are the venue. The venue is inside the mall, but it's like a food court. Like it's open. They don't have dividers. And the line did not take a long time. I think just five or six minutes. Um, waiting for your order took about 10 to 15 minutes. And the food preparation the presentation was good as you can see in the picture that i will attach somewhere um the taste the let's start with the fries the cheese fries was really good even even though it has cheese on top it's not salty at all and it has thick cut it has a thick cut that will make you feel full right away and then when it comes to the burger, the Shack burger was a normal burger for me. Mm, yeah, it was delicious, but I think I prefer a little saltier. So I had to get mustard and hot sauce. Their hot sauce was really good because it's salty. The hot sauce was salty and spicy at the same time. So everything that I'm looking for for a taste is already there in the hot sauce so i had to dip my fries and pour some of the hot sauce to my burger so i would love the taste the mustard was also really really good um all i can say is that if someone's gonna ask me if i'm gonna eat there again i don't think so should i say that it's all the hype i'm i'm not sure as well um, my student also asked me why do you think this is very famous why do you think um, there's a lot of people lining up here like not just here in the Philippines but also in Korea and America there's really a line there's never not a line in the Shake Shack store so maybe it's a marketing strategy that they open a little store or a few stores so people would go and the lines quite long so people would be hungry and then the taste will be so delicious because you're so hungry overall it was filling I got full right after finishing my burger I haven't finished the fries yet and we even shared with the fries and I got so full so for the shack burger for 250 pesos I think it's okay if not often if you're not gonna eat it often but um, the sh shake stack 
burger which is 550 pesos for just the burger i don't think it's worth the money so it's up to you it's just my own opinion okay so that's for my quick quick review for the Shake Shack in BGC and then just a side note not related to the burger I went to Typo in BGC it's a store that now features Friends or Central Perks merch I'm also gonna show the pictures here there's this very big mug that it, it looks like the one that they drink at or they use at the Central Perk in Friends if you've watched it and it's just 590 pesos the tumbler was also good there's a pillow and there's a notebook journal that's just for 250 pesos so I'm really happy to know that there's another store featuring Friends merch aside from Pottery Barns because the one at Pottery Barn looks so boring and too expensive to be honest um, I asked the staff of until when are they gonna feature the Friends merch and they said until stocks last It's not gonna end anytime soon so you can take your time I did not buy anything because I don't want to buy anything by impulse so I can go back uh, There is another typo branch in Mega Mall as what I've seen on social media so yeah that's it for this vlog. It's just a quick one and I hope you learned a thing or two. If you don't agree about my review, it's okay. It's just my own opinion. So that will be all. And if you like this vlog, please leave a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and watch my other videos as well. Bye!